All right, of course, post time for the Derby tonight, 6.57. There will be 19 horses running in the race. There was a scratch yesterday, King Fury. Mm -hmm. So there were 20. We are down, now down to 19 horses running in the Derby. And of course, they have been meticulously taken care of and trained for the past 18 months of their lives. And you think about it, their young lives, you know, they haven't been around a lot of crowds. No. So they're going to be around crowds for the first time today. What does it take to make it today? LEX 18's Claire Kopsky joins us now as we dive into the athleticism of Derby Ready Horses. <laughs> Well, Chris and Claire, good morning to you. These are not just any horses that are going to be running in the Kentucky Derby today. They have been training for this day ever since they could walk. And of course, this is their one shot at the Kentucky Derby. And this is a dream come true for any horse, trainer or owner, as this first Saturday in May is a very special day. There's no perfect recipe, but one thing is for sure. They exist to run. That's their genetic makeup. After a meticulous breeding process, new thoroughbred foals and fillies are on their feet trying to run in a matter of days. Some even put in a bridle in a matter of hours. Horses that don't play, that don't run, run around outside, that are just kind of in a stall, they don't, they don't lay down the same strength of their skeletal system as those that you know do play and do run more. As orthopedic surgeon Dr. Larry Bramlage explains, it's the training that helps them build their athletic bodies. The skeleton they race with, they build as they're training. That's why it takes 18 months to get the horse to the Kentucky Derby, because every time you overload that skeleton a little bit, the horse is going to over repair it and make it a little stronger. Bramlage says during that process, trainers have to be careful of derby fever. You have to guard against the fact that these are young athletes and they're still developing, so you can overtrain them. But before they even start training, you see these horses coming in and out. Many future racehorses will come to visit Dr. Bramlage. It's all aimed at preserving that athletic career. You want their skeleton to be perfect, so that's our job. But even the most athletic horse may not cross the finish line first. At the end of the day, horsemen say it's down to a bit of luck. No one can tell you with 100% certainty that horse will be a champion. That is the Kentucky Derby winner, you know. No one can do that. And the pursuit of that keeps it, wakes us up every morning. And it's like, it is the greatest elixir in life. So despite the horse's pedigree, it really does point back to their innate ability and, like he said, a little bit of luck. Claire and Chris, back to you.